John Gorley and his wife Zoe Manville were at the height of their success with their band, Portugal the Man's Grammy-winning single, Feel It Still. But then their daughter, Frances, began showing signs of a devastating disease. She was nine in the pandemic, 2021. We were doing homeschooling, and she just seemed to kind of deteriorate. Then she started to fall down a lot, which at the time I didn't know if it was her just kind of being clumsy. Four years after that hit single, their 12-year-old daughter was diagnosed with a rare genetic disease, DHDDS. DHDDS is a neurodegenerative, neurodevelopmental disease. Part of the, the things that come along with it is epilepsy. When did you realize this is something that is clearly really serious? We started seeing her have these seizures. Start, seizures? Start falling down. Really, at the time, it just kind of looked like her falling asleep for a few seconds. It was just like instantly. Yeah, like and it's not what you think of when you think of seizures. Before we get into what happened next, describe her as a little girl. She's pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, she's like a little comedian. She's very funny and loving. Well, I love the way she walks into a school. It's just like, hi, Billy, hi, Jeff, hi, Sarah. Like, yeah. she's just like, what's that? How are you? How are you? It's infectious. And watching her on stage, with you guys too is equally infectious <laughs> there's something about her she is fearless yes and i was gonna say no inhibition dhdds is a rare disease and only 70 people in the world are known to have it so when you got the diagnosis and it must have just sounded like a bunch of letters how did the doctors explain it to you so dhdds is like parkinson's alzheimer's dementia in kids it's it's neurodegenerative and that's probably the, the scariest thing you can hear as a parent yeah it was pretty crushing and i mean devastating john and zoe created a gofundme page to help with the skyrocketing cost of francis's personalized treatment how expensive are the medications i think up to two million two million dollars yeah and for the medicine that's, yeah, so that's a very specific medicine that would be for one person, so it, it costs a lot. The idea that anyone can afford a $2 million treatment is insane. There is no treatment for DHTDS. You need to develop the treatment. Yeah. And this, this disease is rare, but there's millions of kids with rare diseases. So what do doctors say about Francis's prognosis. I feel like nobody knows what's going to happen or how fast it's going to happen. There's hope. There's examples of kids in front of us that have, I mean, have had cognitive improvements with these treatments. Yeah. And that, that gives us a, a lot of hope. Is there one song that you guys perform that says Francis to you? We have a song on the new album uh, called Times of Fantasy, and it ends with this, I got a feeling things are gonna be just fine. Mm. I feel it. And Frances heard that song, and she just started singing that <laughs> yeah. line. And she, we ended up bringing her into the studio to sing it with us, yeah, because she it. would sing to the oh. demo. Just fine. Her, her voice, little voice pops out, mm -hmm. and it's so perfect, beautiful. I mean, and what's what keeps you going? I think seeing Francis happy. There are some success stories out there. That's a huge hope for everybody. Yeah, and they are keeping hope alive. Francis, in fact, during our interview, was right upstairs. She does perform with them, and she is the brightest light. But they said when they when they were talking about treatment, they said it's going to be expensive. And he said, "We'll, we'll sell our house." And they said, "That's not enough." Oh, so geez. it just shows you where they are. I mean, the fact that they needed a GoFundMe page and oh. still do to raise money so that they can have some kind of treatment for their daughter. <laughs> and the, I mean, and there is, it's not that there's a cure, it's just some treatment to what should I like hold just off symptoms and that Just kind of in between, but they're fighting for all kids, by the way, you have sure. to, this was a remarkable couple and I was mm. honored to sit with them, oh, it was wow. an honor. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, a big thanks to the uh, Rosevale Kitchen at the Civilian Hotel for letting us have our interview there. And we should mention, you can find more on Francis's story on our website, today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.